paper and pencil is going to go over here. Okay. All right. The reason I'm moving around like that is because I'm going to be putting the links in now. And remember, these are my main concepts. Okay. Notice that each one of them is, for the most part, a noun. Okay. Um, there's reasons too. I don't know what part of speech those are. That's why I don't teach English. But most of these are basically noun type things. Okay, or, or ideas. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie these things together. I'm going to use another shape. I'm going to go in here and get my shapes and then my lines and connectors, and I'm going to use these arrows. So when I start to draw an arrow, notice when I hover over any one of these, it brings me up these little dots on the corners. These dots are essentially connection points, like magnets, where I can attach my arrow, the end of my arrow. So I'm going to take it from this red one, and I'm going to say testing uses tests, and I'm going to click it onto that other arrow. Now these two are connected. Okay, So I can move this around and it's happy. The one thing is if I decide to move this all the way over here it's gonna get kinda weird. So what I would do is I would click on my arrow okay, and then I reattach it to a different point. Now see how I did that? I can do the same thing on this end and then I can move it over there and it doesn't look stupid. Okay. But I want it there, so I'm going to undo that. I'm going to do my move. All right. So I want it over here. And, uh, you know, I can go back up and get that again. Or I could just go copy, and I can paste, paste, paste. And I can just grab a bunch of arrows. And that's what I just did. I just copied that arrow, and I got a, grabbed a bunch of them. I'm going to move these around just so that I have them available to me. This is the way Jones does. doesn't mean it's the right way. All right. So then I'm going to start grabbing these. And I'm going to go through, and I'm going to attach these. You know, I just highlight it, and then I grab the corner, the end, and I find a magnet point that I want to attach it to. Tests can be performance, right? Tests can also be paper and pencil. No, that's not moving. It's moving, but it's not attaching. Okay. So now I've got it, all right? And tests can be... And that looks kind of weird, so I'm going to move this up a little bit. That looks prettier. Okay. Test can be paper and pencil. And I can do one of those fancy, dancy word thingies for, like, example, right? That's what I'm going to do here in a moment. I'll move this over. Okay. Your version of PowerPoint may be very different. I don't know. I haven't ever done this in PowerPoint. I use a different tool. Okay. All right. So you get the gist, right? So I'm going to draw a new arrow here. And oh, it already made an arrow. That's cool. All right. There's a test. So now that I've got some of these, oh, and I could do more. I'm going to grab a couple more arrows real quick. Copy, paste, paste, paste. Okay. And I'm just going to grab these and start attaching them. So testing, there's different reasons. <clears throat> and here's the part that now you'll need to do either in here and I, you know, once you've got them all placed happily, then you can do this in PowerPoint. Maybe there's a way to do it. I couldn't find it. What I really want to do is I want to make it so that, oops, that's wrong. I want to do it so that I can, um, put my linking words, all right, to show the relationships between these different concepts. Oops, I don't know that ever. Okay. Um, so I want to show the relationships between these, and so I'm going to use, I'm going to use linking words. And so for my linking words, obviously, you, you know, you want to make as many connections as possible before you start this next step. Excuse me. Um, I'm going to say testing, I'm going to say it uses, 
that's all I want. Double clicked on that and it brought up that stupidness. Whatever. I'm going to do a text box and I'm going to click over here and I'm going to put linking words on these links. Fuses. Well, it's kind of placed poorly. So I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to move it until it kind of looks pretty. Testing uses tests. And tests. Get a text box again. I hate that. Test um, tests can be performance. And then if I had another one, I would say my link up here. Example. Yep. Example, lab practical. Same deal here. Test use, and then I would come over here. Tests can be paper and pencil and make that connection. EGs, I can do EGs in here. Okay. Testing. As many. And so what you want is you want this to read nicely. So basically, the, the better your linking words and the ideas in your concept boxes, the better this will flow. So testing uses tests. Can be performance. Can be paper and pencil. Examples are short answer, multiple choice. Example essay, example fill in the blank. Okay. Has testing has many reasons. Like used to and I don't know why I hate how Microsoft does that auto cap thing, because I don't want it to. Probably turn that off. Used to plan instruction. <clears throat> uh, helps to assign grades. Used to assess knowledge. So you get the picture, I think, of how you would put these together.